process. So basically what I want to do is just create a um, quick little just kind of video to go through just so you guys can remember about how to add and subtract numbers. Especially, I'm sorry, add and subtract positive and negative numbers. Okay? Um, so we're adding and subtracting positive numbers. The main important, the way that I always like to think about them, because I know you guys um, a lot of times are going to want to use you know, your calculator, but when we're talking about using the PERT test, where you're not going to have that calculator. You're going to have to think through all that information. The best way that, the way that has always kind of worked for me when looking at adding and subtracting negative numbers has been thinking about negative is money that you owe and positive is money that you have, all right? So here would be like you owe one person $7, and then plus you owe somebody else $7. So therefore, the total amount, your total value, is you now owe how much? $14. So negative 7 plus a negative 7 is always going to be negative 14, all right? Um, the next thing is, again, here, now, you owe somebody $7, but instead of adding that wealth to somebody else, same thing, you owe somebody $7, but now, again, you're subtracting, you're borrowing seven more dollars. So if you owe $7 and you borrow seven more dollars, then you have, your wealth is, again, negative 14. What I want you guys to understand is, yeah, you guys can see these are the same thing. The subtraction problem was just rewritten as an addition problem over here. Obviously, if you have $7 in your pocket and you owe somebody $7, you pay them off, so therefore you have a net total of zero. Um, and the next thing is the other, going back to some English, if you guys remember, I don't, um, when you guys have like a double negative, when you say a negative, um, when you're trying to describe something, you have two negatives back to back, they like cancel each other out, right? Like I don't not love math would mean that you love math. Well, the same thing here. If you minus a negative number, we say it turns, it's going to turn into an addition problem. So therefore, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Obviously, guys, 7 plus 7 would be 14. And then this one would equal 14 as well. OK, anybody have any questions on any of the negative numbers? It really comes into getting a lot of practice, Ashley a lot of practice with the negative numbers, but you guys will be adding and subtracting some numbers